So oh, the manager was really nice to me. He's like, what's wrong with you? Like, why, why do you care what this guy thinks? Like, why do you care? Okay guys, today we're joined by Big G, who some of you might know as the captain of SC Dons, one of the biggest football clubs on YouTube. Today, he's going to be speaking about the other side of his career within non-league football. The good, the bad and the ugly of playing football as a part-time job. And I remember like, like men's foot non-league managers are, they're not there to be your friends. That's the honest truth. Same way professional managers aren't there to be your friends. They try and build winning teams, but it's the players togetherness that gets them through rather than the manager. Mm. So, but the manager has to pick that team to build, you know. So, I remember I was, I would have, I had really tough managers, like good leaders, but tough, like not the ones who put their arm around their shoulder. Right. And it was, right. it was tough because I wouldn't know if I was doing good or I was doing bad. So I remember like I, I, I always used to say to myself like when I got really upset after games or whatever, have I done more good things than bad things? Just remember, and my position is judged on goals conceded. It's not how many saves I make, it's how many goals I've conceded. Mm. So I remember I was I was going through like a tough patch and then I got, like, you know, you got up and down in your performances, but I was really, really consistent and I was doing really well. And I started to get like man and matches and things like that. And I was I was cool next. I was like, oh, I've got like back to back man and matches, another clean sheet. And he was like, I was like, oh, the manager was really nice to me. He's like, what's wrong with you? Like, why, why do you care what this guy thinks? Like, why do you care? Like, these are the same guys, yeah, who will shout at you and scream at you every time you can see the goal. Don't let that person feel like they have that kind of control over you. You've got to be able to assess your own game positively and be realistic in what you're doing. The amount of no's I've had and the amount of non-league stories I could share with you of, of people just treating me like rubbish, you know, like me, big, big, big G, you know, like. Being a young player in the changing room, having people calling me Shaka Hislop and this and having to say, no, that ain't my name. I'm Big G, you know, like, don't, you can't talk to me like that. Like, mm -hmm. my name's George, you know what I mean? Or having to run past people in training sessions and having to put my face in, in situations where it got kicked in the face or I saved it in my hand for the sake of the team. Because I was always, in my own way, I was always earning other people's respect because I believed in myself that, as long as I work hard, which is what my dad would say, you can't work hard and you don't get nothing out of it. It's impossible. With with non-league football, you can, I wouldn't say prestigious. I have won my league titles. I have had my cup finals. But I would say that what I've tried to do is learn how important it is to get the changing room right and the structure of a football club to have longevity, which is why little things like being at non-league level and playing Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, training on a Thursday, I said, this club needs a physio. I don't care if it's Sunday league. We have to have a physio. Mm -hmm. And guess what happened? People started seeing physios at SE Dons and other teams were having physios and they started to think, why have we not got a physio? Introduce a strength and conditioning coach in Ginge. Right, we're having that on a Saturday. How do we bring that to Sundays? Yeah. So, do you understand what I mean? By, by using what I was learning there to bring it back here because... Mm -hmm. When I was winning league titles, I was I was at the same time I was being a sponge. I was like, what is the manager done really well here? How how do you handle being in a title race on a Saturday at non-league level? How do you handle it on a Sunday? Right. We're not gonna win every game, but how do we manage the storm? How do we keep the change on man? Those were the things, those were the lessons I learned from non-league that I took to the don because I learned how to win.